Nursing, certainly a rewarding field of study for those who want to help people in need, but the training sometimes challenging without having actually sick people to practice with. Yeah, that does make it a little hard. As part of our regular check-in with Montana Tech, we recently visited the campus's School of Nursing, where a high-tech patient is actually making that training possible. Well, Thursday morning, once again, uh, time for us to check in with our friends at uh, Montana Tech. We are on campus this morning. We're in the uh, Health Sciences Building. Joining me this morning, we're in a really interesting uh, part of the building. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but uh, Karen, tell me a little bit about the work that goes on here. This is a big deal for Montana Tech as far as, as one of the bigger programs here. Talk to me about the nursing school here at, uh, at uh, Montana Tech. Well, Nursing school is a big deal. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, we're the largest program at Montana Tech. We transitioned from a three-year associate degree to a batch, four-year bachelor's degree in 2016, and we had our first graduates in May of 18, and it has been growing ever since. And so nursing education is to provide health care to the citizens of Montana and the state and beyond. And so we really want to keep things uh, state-of-the-art, innovative, keep our curriculum going. And so um, the big hot thing now mm. is simulation. Mm. And so we have integrated simulation throughout the whole curriculum. Mm -hmm. And in fact, our plan is to build a simulation center on campus mm. uh, starting this year. Now, Karen mentioned uh, this simulation. Uh, mm -hmm. Janet, we're, uh, the sound, you may have heard it when we first started that. That's a part of what we're talking about. Uh, you have a, a patient behind. Tell me a little bit about some of this uh, work that you're able to do with these students in a real hands-on way without ever having to actually have a real casualty or you know somebody faking an injury for me. Okay, uh, yeah, simulation's been a great addition to the nursing education program. Um, what simulation does is uh, it allows us to uh, put s students in scenarios that uh, they might not actually get the opportunity. So it might be a high risk uh, situation that they might not see in clinical, or if they did, uh, because of the acuity of the situation, they become in the observation role. But in simulation lab, we get to put them in the role of a nurse, and they really have to make the decisions and do the assessment and put it all together and actually really take care of the patient. It still sounds scary to me. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm looking at the opportunity. You have the opportunity one level to learn what if I do something wrong, ultimately without being real consequences, but that's still very serious. I mean, I would think that kind of lesson, there's no other way you could learn that short of actually, you know, unavoidably having it really happen. That's got to be an exciting thing for you as a, as a nurse to know, I now know why this doesn't work. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a very cool experience where you have this safe learning environment, but it also gives you the confidence. Mm -hmm. um, I think that when you do something wrong, you learn why it was wrong or how you did it wrong. It just feels good that you were in a judgment-free zone. Mm -hmm. um, and now you know in the future, you that's stuck in the back of your mind. <laughs> I, w I would think, uh, Caitlin, as well, there, there's that opportunity to do some repetitive work here that you couldn't do with a patient. You get a one-time only deal if I'm you know, dealing with nausea or whatever the, the case may be. Mm -hmm. I got a one-time deal, you gotta work on it, and then maybe the rest of it's just textbook. This way you can go over and over and over again. Repetition, I would think, would build some confidence. Oh yeah, there's only so many things you can really learn from a textbook, and I think that's why I really enjoy nursing, because it's a very hands-on profession, and also like, you have all your teachers right here. You have this amazing technology that we get the opportunity to use, and it really does help hone your skills and make you a lot more confident in your practice, and then um, you're ready to actually go out into the world and take care of real patients and not just a mannequin. So That's fantastic. Well, uh, Caitlin, Chris, Neaton, uh, thank you, uh, Janet, uh, Karen, uh, for joining us this morning. Uh, thank you. Thanks for the little bit of a tour of what uh, goes on here at Montana Tech. Thank you very much. We're going to take a quick break here in Montana this morning. Much more Montana this morning right after this.